Kia Queenstown, welcome to Well Groomed, coming to you this week from Coronet Peak. Hi guys, my name is Nick Alfieri here with Coronet Peak Snow Sports, here to give you guys a quick tutorial on getting into the park for the first time. Spring's a great time of year to get in there and learn some stuff, so come with me and some students while we learn four steps to move through the terrain park and do a straight air for the first time safely. So what we're going to get into is we're going to talk about the approach, the takeoff, the trick, and the landing. Those are the four crucial parts when you go into the terrain park to do anything. So we're gonna talk about the approach first. Really important in the approach is being able to leave from a flat base on your snowboard in a nice flexed position. So it's really good to practice doing a couple turns and then pointing your board straight down the hill, being nice and flat, nice and flexed, and see if you can ride that flat board for just a little bit of time and then come up, slow down, come to a stop. All right guys, the next thing we're gonna work on is the takeoff. This is a really crucial and important piece whenever we're doing our first straight air in the park. Some good elements of a takeoff have a nice smooth extension as you're coming off. Not a rapid pop, but a nice smooth extension off that flat base we just practiced up there. So find yourself a nice flat area and practice some nice flat base and some smooth extension hops off the ground, coming back and landing nice and flexed and smoothly as you do this. Now we're gonna combine these last two things we worked on, the approach and the takeoff, this time while we're sliding. So start with a nice flat base, sliding down the hill, do a nice smooth extension hop, come back and land with that nice, easy, smooth, flat base. Go ahead and stop at the end. So the next piece we're gonna talk about is the trick. That's while we're actually in the air. What we wanna do for this trick is we wanna pull our legs up to us, stay nice and compact in the air so we're stable, and we can then later extend to our landing and land smoothly. So same exact task as we did just up there, except this time after you pop and you extend, I want you to focus on pulling your legs up to you and staying nice and low in the air, and then put them back down for your landing. Okay, so we've worked on our approach, our takeoff, and our trick, but now it's time to work on the landing, which is one of the really, really important pieces of this. So we've already been doing a little bit of it naturally. We have been landing these last tasks I've been teaching you, but this time we're gonna focus on it. This time when you land, we're gonna get real low, really absorb the landing, and try to make it sound as quiet as possible underneath your feet. Make it feel as smooth as possible. That way we can land smoothly, have good control when we land, and be able to ride away nice and clean. Now we're gonna take it into the terrain park, but before you take this into the terrain park, make sure that you feel comfortable doing these steps, do them as much as you need to, find some little hits on the hill, small things to do them off of that are in safe places, and then when you come into the terrain park, make sure that you're gonna follow terrain park etiquette. This has all been covered in a previous episode, so please go back and reference that if you have any questions on what that etiquette is. And then before you ever actually hit the park jump, it's good to take a look at it. Go snowboard next to it, stop on the side of it, have a look and see how big the gap is, see all those important things to keep you safe. Okay, so here I'm gonna take a look, make sure it's all clear to go and call my drop. Dropping. Focus on everything we learned before. Yeah, bro. Nice, guys. Good job. Big thanks to my students here for, for coming along and participating. The park is a really fun place. If, uh, if, if you progress into it nicely, make sure you're safe, make sure you're following all the park etiquette. I hope this video has been helpful and you guys go out and have fun this spring.